Ah, friend of Valserin. You're just in time. This pearl resists our... A few insignificant echoes and a name to apply to it, but nothing to tell us who created it or what kind of magic it employs. It isn't Daedric in origin, though, despite the false Aldark's allegiance. It's time to utilize more drastic means. We're about to enter a crucial stage of the augury ritual, so none of us can leave this chamber. If you could find my acolyte, Oriandra, she'll provide you with the amplification elixir we require. She's in Sotha Seal's study, upstairs. Oriandra should be in Sotha Seal's chambers, cataloging his old research and experiments. Tell her I need the amplification elixir to strengthen our augury ritual. That should help us determine what the pearl is and where it came from. Leader implies command, and a level of structure more suited to an army than an order of mystic monks. That said, I oversee the Sigic Order, and our conclave of the Eleven Forces. Someone must steer the ship, after all. Yes. You have traveled across the mystic realms to reach the island we call Arteum. As an uninitiated, this may sound confusing, but the Sigic Order changes the location of its headquarters on occasion. And by that I mean we move the entire island. Tamriel, my friend, you left the boundaries of Nern behind. The ritual has... While the majority... the adventurer that Valserin was going on about. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to our secret island. Oh, I suppose you already talked to the right master, seeing as you're here in Kapora Tower. That strange pearl has certainly been reluctant to reveal its secrets. The right master hates it when an inanimate object refuses to cooperate. Regarding the amplification elixir, I just cataloged it. It's a Sotha seal creation, as you'd expect. Hmm. What? No, not in the traditional sense. He's not one of our monks, if that's what you're asking. More like an honorary member, I guess you'd say. According to my records, the silver vial should be right over there. As soon as the pearl arrived via Valserin's transference spell, the Rite Master gathered the Conclave to prepare an augury ritual. He's been cycling sages through to keep them fresh, while slowly increasing the intensity of the ritual. I'm the Rite Master's acolyte. I have other duties to perform. Besides, such a complex ritual requires the power of the Conclave of the Eleven Forces. I'm not that strong yet. Under the Rite Master's tutelage, I expect to attain that rank. One day. Was Oriandra able to direct you to the proper elixir? Without something to amplify the magic, our ritual is going to fail. Just in time. For the next stage of the ritual, if you have no objections, I'd like you to join us. Your experiences alongside Valserin might help reveal what has so far eluded our efforts. We'll handle the magic. 
you pour the elixir into the scrying pool and stand close. As the ritual's power amplifies, your experiences with the Pearl and the False Aldark should help the augury do its job. We want to discover the origin of the Pearl and its strange magic. In addition, anything we can learn about the False Aldark and his connection to the Pearl would be helpful. Otherwise, we're stepping blindly into Oblivion's maw here. Pour the elixir into the pool. That should provide the final boost we need to trigger the augury. Here we stand, the most favored servants of Clavicus Vile, Nefala, and Nocturnal, on the verge of the greatest victory for our princes. Are you sure those creatures can be trusted? Have no fear. Isn't that why we formed the Court of Bedlam? Besides, what happens next in Relinthil will seal Somerset's fate. That was unnerving. It seems the false Aldark belonged to an alliance of Daedric cultists called the Court of Bedlam. Imagine the faithful of Clavicus Vile, Mafala, and Nocturnal working together. This is more serious than I anticipated. No, but I'm hardly an expert on the Daedric cults of Tamriel. The magic I sensed in the Pearl, though, it doesn't contain the taint of oblivion. We're missing something, but what? I suppose we'll need to find out what's going on in Relenthiel. I hoped you'd say that. Relenthiel sits to the west of Shimmerine, just across the mountains. I'll send Valserin with you to talk to the Cannon Reeve. The False Aldark may be dead, but Mafala's and Nocturnal's agents remain, as well as the Pearls. I have
Ah, this one has been looking for you. Raz's investigations have brought him to Relentheel. When this one noticed your Sigic friend slip into town, Raz figured you'd be along soon. So, what did you discover on Arteum, the island that isn't here anymore? Ugh, oh, that made Raz's head hurt. Yes, this one has been exploring the Daedric connection as well. But Raz hates Daedra. In Raz's experience, very little good comes from dealing with Daedra or their cultists. That is disturbingly vague. Why must cryptic cultists be so... cryptic? Well, Raz saw Valserin head toward Cannon Reef. Go inside and we'll discuss this later. And take off that ridiculous hood. Ridiculous? I'll show you what's ridiculous. I'll show you all! You think as Canon Reeve I'd be immune to the troublesome temper of a spoiled and rebellious child? But what distinguished visitors I have today. A wandering sage, a well-dressed Khajiit, and you. What brings such a... Investigating? For who? Well, there have been three reports this week of someone disappearing. And my intractable son, Nadoril, and his malcontent friends have been cavorting around the large sinkhole that recently appeared. What are you implying? They're just young and proud of their heritage. I wouldn't draw such a harsh conclusion without substantial evidence. I can't understand why they're fascinated with the sinkhole, but that doesn't make them criminals. I suppose too high... Raz wants to ask the Cannon Reeve a few more questions. Take the Sijik and go investigate the sinkhole. Dawnbreaker, open the way! Oh, come on! Stupid Daedric interference! I'll be back! I think we can enter through these rooms.
That young woman was certainly in Yes, well, it certainly feels dangerous. and ceiling. They don't Those Yagra creatures. Be careful. The size of this place. It's almost as if someone dug up through the island. I'll teleport closer to the central area and meet you there.
someone there. Help! Please help! Crazy bath. It was just kind of... When we heard... The court of Bedlam will eradicate the lesser races. Maybe even deal with our unworthy queen. Over here. Keep quiet and tell me if you see what I see. You see that, right? My eyes aren't playing tricks on me. That's a, a vile and dangerous species. Very powerful. The hooded figure could be a member. They could certainly have a connection. Master! Intruders in the cave! Heed me, my creatures! Destroy the intruders! That young idiot! We need to get over there! Witness the power of Kator on the Abyssal Cabal! We can't let those creatures reach the surface. The sea slowed and the hooded figure are gone. I'll try to determine where they disappeared to.
no sign of where the sea slow disappeared to. Damn it! For the time being. The sea slow left us something to remember it by. We need to dispatch that creature.
hurry, this Somehow Raz knew he would fight you. This is worse than the right master imagined. Meet me in Arteum after you talk to the Queen's Eye. Did the pretty Sigic say Sea Slod? No, Slod, that's Daedra worshippers in Somerset. And Slod. The Eye of the Queen? How dare you accuse my son of treason? The Queen's Eye. How dare he not identify himself when he first arrived? And how- Cislo? Oh, Nadoril. To a god! Foolishness can be ignored. Murder and treason, not so much. You and your queen have no authority over a true Ultima, you mangy cat. This one cannot allow your crimes to stand unanswered. Nidoril! No! No! I understand. Relanthil is loyal to the queen. Sometimes the eye sees treason and must cut it out before... Blasphemy. Treason. Murder. How many crimes? Treason and the Queen's justice are serious. <sighs> no. Raz will see.
Welcome to our day on travel. Though it may be in a sense. Friend of Valseren, I have a proposal for you. Ah, friend of Val I'm familiar with that Val described. The Daedric Princes require minions. I asked the Conclave of the Eleven Forces. The more we learn, the more the nature of the threat becomes...